This is our story about going to Sicily. As digital nomads, we stayed there for 90 days and discovered a lot. In this video, we show you our best of the island. Fantastic beaches, nature reserves, historical cities like Syracuse, Modica, Palermo, Trapani, Erice and more. Every day when work is done, we plunge into the charm of Sicily. This breathtaking beach, Fontana Bianca, lies about 15 kilometers south of Syracuse. Although it's already October, you can still do many activities like swimming in the ocean. But Roberto is too tired today. After relaxing on the beach, we take an evening walk along the beautiful coastline. Until we reach Punta del Cane, where we enjoy the sunset. If you're romantic, take your loved one there. This was the seducing side of Sicily. Let's see what else we will explore. Working as digital nomads, we have picked Syracuse as our main base. If you would like to combine beach and cultural vacation, you can definitely choose Syracuse with its charming old town or a The old town is located on an island separated by a narrow channel. This UNESCO World Heritage City, with its magnificent traces of Greek and Roman history, is one of the most famous tourist and cruise destinations in all of Sicily. like the locusts and order fries with bacon as an appetizer before your pizza. Real authentic Sicilian experience as an appetizer. Our waitress said we need to take chips. Do you like it? Everyone has French fries for appetizer. <laughs> Everyone has French fries. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh! Ooh la la! Che bellezza! How is it called the pizza? Pizza Siracusa. Too hot. Near Syracuse is the nature reserve in Dicari. These fascinating ruins of Tonara, a former tuna factory, are one of the attractions.
The 1,500 hectare nature reserve has enchanted us. We have to come back to also look for the Kalamoske beach, which has been awarded as one of the most beautiful beaches in Italy. We'll show you later in the video. Without you by my side Ooh, From the moment I dared to follow A whispering voice inside I realized I'm in love Ooh, Yeah, I realized I'm in love A magnificent view of the imposing church of the UNESCO World Heritage Town Palazzolo Acride opens up to us. The Church San Sebastiano is notable for its fine Baroque decorations. Palazzolo Acride is not as famous as nearby Norto, Modica or Ragusa, which we will also visit, but it's really a small pearl located in the mountains of the Syracusian area. Sicily is a sweet dream for sugar lovers. There are seductive cafes everywhere. A must try is the typical Sicilian specialty called cannolo. We are in the mood for nature. The nature reserve Machia Forest of the Irminio River in the municipality of Ragusa, about 90 kilometers away from Syracuse, calls us today. The name says it all and immediately brings to mind the green wooded landscape that welcomes us. You can explore the reserve in a couple of hours. It's a hike suitable for anyone who has the desire to be surrounded by the sounds and colors of nature. For us, the reserve deserves to be on the list of places worth visiting in the southeast of Sicily. As promised, we are back in the Vendicari Nature Reserve to check out the Calamosca beach, which has been awarded as one of the most beautiful beaches of Italy. From the parking lot, it's about 1.2 km walk to the beach. Here we are, it's a sandy little bay with a very calm and clear sea.
after enjoying the beach, we continue to explore the huge nature reserve. Near Vendikari is the village of Matsamemi, where we have Sicilian seafood. On the way back to Syracuse, we stop for an evening stroll in Avola. This Sicilian place really impressed us. The UNESCO World Heritage Town Modica is also called the city of a hundred churches, including the magnificent Madre San Giorgio Cathedral. Houses that are literally grown into the rocks, narrow streets and enchanting late Baroque architecture. That is Modica. Also Ragusa and Noto are late Baroque towns and UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the Noto Valley. Overlooking Syracuse, here we are in the marine reserve of Plemirio. A great place for walks with beautiful vegetation and fantastic cliffs, just 15 kilometers away from Syracuse. And in November we have this natural wonder all to ourselves, as there are hardly any tourists. November brings cooler weather, but it's still mild. The mercury climbs to 17 degrees in the afternoon. Before we continue, are you enjoying this video? Then please like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. The fall is coming, I can feel it The breeze brings goosebumps to my skin Cycling is one of the most enjoyable ways to explore Sicily. The charming Rosana Mallorca cycle path in Syracuse is 7 km long and suitable for any type of bike. Along the way you always have a view of Mount Etna, the largest active volcano in Europe. The beautiful Tonara di Santa Banagia is one of the nicest corners of the entire route. Soon after, the official path ends, but we are curious and continue. 
we discover a harbor and an oil refining plant. On the way back, we enjoy the sunset atmosphere and are fascinated by the volcano, which was very active during that time. Sicily has a typical Mediterranean climate with hot dry summers and mild wet winters. However, the beauty of traveling in fall and winter is that you escape the crowds and get a far more tranquil and authentic experience of resort towns like Syracuse that are usually overrun in summer. With the cooler temperatures in Syracuse, you have a reason for indulging a little more than usual in hot food to keep you warm. Like tasty chestnuts or typical Sicilian sandwiches with horse meat, which you can get at the numerous paninerias. It's December. We leave Syracuse and go on a road trip to the other side of Sicily. On the way to Palermo we discover lovely villages La Cala Cibetta, located in the center of Sicily. Polizzi Genarosa, set 900 meters above sea level in the Madonia Natural Park. Motta Sant Anastasia with its impressive castle and breathtaking view of Mount Etna. This is Palermo, Sicily's capital at Christmas time. It's the heart of Norman history and culture and a UNESCO World Heritage Site in northwestern Sicily. The Maria Santissima Assunta Cathedral is Palermo's landmark and most important building. Most of the sites are located along the two main streets that intersect in the center of the old town here at Quattro Canti. Mm -hmm. 
the more relaxed pace of winter and lack of tourists make it easier to stroll the streets and meet the locals, like here at the traditional food markets. From Palermo we take a day trip to Capo Zafarano, about 20 kilometers away. The abandoned lighthouse invites one to dream. Later, in Belmonte Mazzagno, we experience a live nativity play performed in the streets of the village. We leave Palermo and for the last time enjoy the panorama of this amazing city. On the way to our next destination, Trapani, we discover gorgeous landscapes. Sicily is still mainly characterized by agriculture. You can find many vegetable and fruit plantations and wheat fields. In the evening we reach Trapani, which is about 110 kilometers away from Palermo. The port city of Trapani is located in western Sicily, not far from Tunisia. And the Arab influence can still be seen today in the buildings of the city. Trapani is also called the city of two seas because in front of the coast runs the border of the Tyrrhenian Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. In Sicily you also have to taste the savory specialty pane cunzato, a sandwich with salty cheese, tomato and olive oil. Along the coast between Trapani and Masala we find little salt mountains surrounded by windmills. Some of the old windmills that were used to extract the water from the salt pans can be visited today. It's a unique environment where you can admire windmills, migratory birds and small shimmering salt mountains. Also, the temperature in January is very pleasant during the day. The nearby town of Masala is famous for its sweet Marsala wine and is also worth a visit.
Erice is one of the main tourist attractions of Sicily and is located about 12 kilometers from Trapani. Set on Mount Erice at an altitude of 715 meters, it lies sometimes in the clouds. This special medieval town offers a lot of atmosphere and history and a breathtaking view when the fog has cleared. It's an enchanting village with Norman influence on top of a mountain overlooking the sea. A must visit place. It's our last day in Sicily. On the way back home we visit Chaka, one of the oldest towns on the island. It's a charming port town on the southwest coast of Sicily. Look ahead, the sea is calm and I know we've been through a lot but just wait. Mm, wait for better days to come. We pass huge orange plantations. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore. And see tourist attractions like the Scala dei Turchi. And the famous valley of the temples near Agrigento. We are dreamers of the shore. Sicily has won our heart. Yours too? Let us know in the comments. <laughs>